Hello everybody, my name is Danny and today's video, today's video we are going to be finishing this fun establishment, I, I can't, I'm very sorry, um, I thought I was recording for the longest time, I finished the roof recording and my recording got corrupted. And it's kind of sad because I told a story in my last video and I was recording, but it got corrupted, so I couldn't upload it. And I was telling a great story. <laughs> no, well, like it. I don't know. It was going on for a long time. I tell you that for a fact. But today's video, let me turn down my volume just for a minute. But today's video, we are going to finish the flower. And pretty much that, if you guys would like to hear my story, I can tell you. I guess I can repeat my story again. Alrighty. A long, long time ago. It wasn't, it was just like, it was like, it was like when I was 10 years old. What was it? It was a couple years ago. I don't know how old I was, was, but it was a couple years ago. Um, I was... What was I doing? Oh, it was winter out. Yes. It was snowing. It was freezing cold outside. And the roads were bad. Anyways. So, I call my dad up and ask him, Hey! Can I ride my little three-wheeler over the Noah's house across the street? Now, what I'm talking about is not the three-wheeler like a four-wheeler. A three-wheeler. It looks like it's basically a green machine, but instead of having the sticks to, you know, turn and pull and drive it, it has, like, this steering wheel. So, uh, basically a green machine. Anyways, it had three wheels on it. Just like a green machine. It's a green machine without the sticks. It has the actual steering wheel, so. I call him up, say, hey, can I ride it? To no sauce, and he's like, no, are you crazy? It's snowing out. So, like a, like a bad kid, I go to my mom and ask her, hey, mom, can I get my, you know, out and ride it? She says, yes. Which was the wrong thing for me to say, because I didn't tell her the truth. Anyways, um, so, I get it out, so, I'm looking both ways across the street, you're always supposed to look both ways, and, I do, and here comes this car, flying down the icy road, I don't know why, it's 15 miles per hour, not, like, 20 miles per hour. Well, like, 90. I don't know how fast she was going. She was going a little fast for my eyes to see. And then I stopped by slid, and I was, like, trying to back up, and I, she hit me, and I passed out. Like, as soon as she was, like, she was five feet away from me in the car. The car was, like, five feet away from me, and I passed out. And I blacked out for about, like, probably a few minutes. Like, ten minutes, maybe. And or something and she was in the car. I couldn't have passed out that long because she was still in the car when I woke up. She literally probably probably passed out probably for under like twenty seconds. Then I get up, I'm looking around and I'm like, Where am I? And all I see is this car behind me, doors wide open, airbags off and in the snowbank, I see my bike on the other side of the sidewalk. I made it. <laughs> um, I accomplished something. My bike hit the other side of the sidewalk. <laughs> the bad news is I didn't listen to my dad, but so the lady gets out. She's screaming like, "Oh my God, come here, my And I'm like, "Lady, shut up." I'm fine. But she's panicking like terrible. Like, oh my God, she just she just wouldn't shut up. I wanted her to be quiet because she wasn't breathing. She was just keep talking and talking, acting like she wasn't even breathing. And I just, can you shut up for like five seconds and breathe, lady? Please, can you breathe? Please, 
Like she was, the thing that was scaring me is her just keep talking and talking and the only thing that was going through my head is like, oh my god, this lady's gonna die because she's not, she's talking but she's not breathing, she can pass out. And I'm like, oh my god, can you just stop talking and breathe? I wanted to tell her that but I wasn't too smart. Anyways, we finally get to my house and tell my mom, hey mom, I got hit by a car, man. I was like all, I was all, I was all screwed up. I was like on, I acted like I was on drugs. Like I was all messed up in the head. I was like, oh my god, what's up, No, I wasn't on drugs. Anyways, um, so my mom gets and my, the actress kind of, stupid thing is my sister was watching the whole thing through the bedroom window and this is this is when my mom and dad were actually still together anyways my sister comes looks at me the door gets shut and she looks at me crying and she's like oh god it's all your fault mom's gonna go to jail because of you and i'm like and i said shut up i could have died thank you very much she looks at me she's like just because of your act, mom's gonna go to jail now. Oh my god, will you shut up? Like, what What ticked me off is she was crying, but she was, like, not caring about my safety. I don't care about... No, I do care about my mom, but hello. She was crying because she didn't want to tell me she was crying because of me. She made the whole thing up. I, I knew. I knew. I I knew. Can't lie to me. Anyways, Dad, please come. Question my mom. Blah blah blah. Just tell her questions. Can I have your first, last, middle, blah blah blah, blah name, blah blah blah, license? Yup. 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 That your car? Yup. No. Nope. Well, the car was gone, so he couldn't even question that. So because my dad took the car to work because we only had one car. Oh, we had two cars, but he didn't say nothing about it. I'm sorry. Anyways, so, um, oh my god, that's a sheep. So then, the, the paramedics come, check me, tell me, are you hurt, blah, 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 what, how on scale, one to ten, how do you describe your pain? I was like, um, a zero. The only thing that I told, the only thing that hurt is nothing, I told him, because nothing hurted. I wasn't hurt. So then, my dad. Once they leave, my, the police apparently are still in the parking lot, or driveway, I should say, on the road. And my dad comes in. He's like, "What'd you do?" And I'm like, "Oh my God, Don! I, Donnie, I, son, I told you, Don, Don it, Don it, son, I told you, what is wrong with you?" And I'm like, "Dad, calm down." Now calm down, calm down, sir. Calm down. No, but <laughs> ah, it's funny. But anyway, it wasn't. F so my dad takes me to Hooli, um, mitching me out. Um, you guys know what I meant. I didn't want to say, you know, the B word, but he was basically he was yelling at me, saying, "What is wrong with you? I told you not to get your bike out. What did you get? You got your bike out. Look what happened." Now I'm like, blah, blah, blah. Now I gotta race home from work. I don't get to relax. I don't get to sit down. Well, that's not. No, no shut up. Let me speak. I had to, I couldn't take a shower. I had to pull you up and get out your clothes on, change out of my work clothes, get clean clothes on, and drive you to the hospital because you're stupidy, blah blah blah. And I was just sitting there crying. And I was like, oh, you want me to give you? No. Uh, it was it was bad. My, I I was I was in trouble. I was in trouble, and it was my fault. And you know, just yeah, I got hit by a car, but I was okay. And my dad was not all about that. He was. The only thing he was worried about right now is my safety and the what reason and the way how I ignored him and didn't listen to him. He was ang that was that was why he was angry. Anyway, so we get to the hospital. My dad's really angry. He's gonna get really angry then. So what really happens is um. The doctor says nothing's wrong from all he has is on his ankle is a red, white, red, orange, yellow, green, purple, um, 
bruise on his right ankle and I'm like oh that's interesting so that's what that bruise is and my dad looks at me and uh, gives me that looks like oh my god you're lucky oh my god oh my god and he's like oh my god ooh, ooh. the anger in his eyes he's like thanks for your help doc he looked at me with that oh my god I'm gonna kill you Mm, oh, you're in so much trouble. He didn't say that. He said, oh my God, so, and, and, like, that look, like, oh, my God, you're in trouble. So, he was, like, ooh, ooh, like, ooh, like, and I was, like, oh, sorry? <laughs> I didn't even talk. I got in the car. He didn't say nothing until we got, actually, in the driveway, and he was, like, next time, listen to me. If not, no, I got grounded, too. He was, like, you know what? You is grounded. And I'm like, dude, you grounded? <laughs> yeah, I, was, I got in I think I got grounded. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But I got in trouble. Oh, I'm gonna get home, eat dinner, go to bed, right, watch TV, go to bed, and get in trouble. Whatever. Then I'll tell you guys another story. So then, um. <clears throat> So, a little, so I was 10 years old when this story happened. The story that I'm going to tell you now. Um, I was playing freeze tag over at my friend's house. And, um, I was running and my friend dropped off his bike in the middle of the sidewalk that I was running towards. And he was coming. This is before the game he dropped it off and then he was coming so we ran all the way to the porch Well, it was just me and then I Then all I heard was watch out and I'm like what and then his bike on the pegs He had these cool pegs make them look cool. He had um He had the um four spikes on the on the side of the pegs and of course, my knee goes right through the pegs, those spikes, and the spikes go right through my skin. And it rips off my skin. And I'm bleeding everywhere. And I pull my knee out, and I'm like, ah! Ah! And I'm crying like a mug, and it hurts, there's blood everywhere. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm scared. And all I can imagine is my dad freak out. I was like, oh my god. My dad didn't because I was actually bleeding. I was like, oh my god, what'd you do this time? Oh my god, give him here. Give me my son. So we walk. So they were killing me like police do when they grab under your arms and pick you up. Yeah, they were killing me like that. And my dad looks at me. He's like, looks at them. He's like, all right, thanks. Give me my son now. And I'm like, oh, geez, dad. He's like, come here, child. Come here, my child. And I'm like, oh, okay. So he picks me up. He's like, oh, bad child. <laughs> bad child. What were you thinking? I'm like, what? what? Oh, he caught a child. But no, he didn't say that. So he said, oh, my God, what'd you do? I explain. Puts me in the sink. Mom hoses me down with the sprayer. Dad takes me to the after hours clinic because he didn't feel like taking me to Hurley. Because he didn't know if it was going to be like last time. But then. Sure enough. The doctor says, yep. And you know one thing I forgot to tell you guys. It was so bad. When I washed the blood away. You guys might puke for this. So. Uh, just right now, you might want to go get a trash can. Just pause the video and go get a trash can. Um, my bone was sticking out of my skin. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you guys puke if you did. But it was bad. They sewed me up, gave me eight stitches. And the funny part was, is... My dad had a bunch of people hold me down while the doctor was the doctor was leaning on my left knee and putting stitches in my right knee because yeah 
Okay, get out of here. No story time for you. It's for the people. It's for the fans. You ain't a fan, pig. You hate me. Go visit your brother. But anyways, I gotta be, like, quick about this. Like, I can't record for too long. Well, the recording will stop and start all over again. But I'm just gonna finish my story and then I record for another little bit after my story. Anyways, so, um, we get there. After that, he threads string into my knee, stitches it up, and then tells me th th things, all the things that I can't do for 10 days. Though, basically everything. The only thing I can do is eat, sleep, talk, and that's it. Like, I couldn't even run, ride a bike, swim. Anything that had to do with my knee getting wet or bend or like bending my knee like sitting down or Doing anything I couldn't do and it was in the summertime too. So I really didn't need a school note It was good. I'm glad it was in the summer But yeah, I didn't have crutches or nothing. I had to walk on my own my dad didn't think I needed crutches, but whatever you know, it's fine. It was fine. But then... I get home. Playing on my PSP. I don't know if people still know what I'm talking about. They probably do. It was like the first PSP that came out. Little, little game system. It's like a DS. Um, DSi. Um, DS. But it's like... It's pretty cool. It shakes. It, it everybody knows what I'm talking about but then um so I go over to my girlfriend's house um and remember I'm 10 years old at the time having a girlfriend my girlfriend was there we've been we were together for about a while until I, um she had a move well, she moved and you know we just stayed friends but I wish I remembered I wish she had a Facebook she's probably like 14 now like she was only like two years younger than me I believe so what she's well I'm 15 she's probably like 14 now probably she probably just turned her 13 14 this year probably something I think her birthday was in, um, October or something. I think. I'm not sure. Oh, shoot. I should really, I should really remember this, but I don't. But we're still friends, I think. I think she still remembers me. Um, I still, you know, see the, her cousins. I don't see Molly anymore. But... She, like, moved to Davidson with her dad. And her mom went, like, somewhere. I'm not sure where the mom went. I could literally ask, um, Peyton, which is, uh, Molly's cousin that go rides my bus. I could ask, like, because, yeah, but, yeah. So, I see her, say hi, tell her what happened, and try to stay around, say, I can't swim, sorry, got the cast on. Her mom comes out, I was like, oh my god, are you okay? I heard what happened, but I never saw it. I'm like, yeah, it's alright, healing. Ten days later, um, I get the stitches off. Doctor says, still go easy on it, maybe give it another couple days. You can swim. But I would still give it a little bit. Like maybe a day. Wait until like tomorrow. So I gave it a day. I had to sleep with my dad by the way too. Because my dad didn't want me breaking my stitches. Or falling out of bed. Or he, if I needed help using the restroom or something. Like I couldn't. He like he was like. It was hard sleeping too. Because when I sleep I, my legs are not bent. I mean, not straight. They're like, well, they are, but I like, you know, 
sometimes it was like hard because it, I, w I would have this big old cast on in it yeah it was hard but uh, um, I had to sleep with him because of just because so he can keep because the doctor told him keep an eye on your son and then after that my dad put me that dad, dad says no can't sleep with me anymore now he told me now you can sleep in your bed and I was like awesome so because he didn't want me getting up and like forgetting hey you still have stitches in your knee because I took off the cast that night that's what he was worried about me taking off the strap and then when I go to bed um, rolling over and bending my knee so yeah and if I would have broke a stitch he would have been there you know and so but you know I just stayed in bed dad went to work then mom came home slept I just woke up then I would wake up you know go on the couch probably or take a nap with, when my mom would come home she would say hey let's go take a nap for an hour or two and then we can get up then you can like play a game and stuff I would go in my mom's room and she would take a nap I would sit in the bed with her on the other side where my dad would sleep no she would sleep on my dad's side I would sleep on her side oh yeah my dad would sleep on I would sit on my dad's side or her side I forget but I'm gonna leave I'm, not, I'm gonna finish the floor in a little in a later's video when I'm at my dad's house but I'm just gonna finish up my story and then end the video off here guys but I would take a nap with my mom or just play my video game and stuff what was that did you all see that what was that again Again, what was that? Oh my god, I'm tripping. But, if you guys like this video, get out. Go. Go, pig. Move. Skedaddle. Go. That is gonna get in. But if you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment down below, share with your friends, family members, that way loved ones, everybody, and subscribe. And before we end off the video, if this I remember if this if this channel reaches over one hundred or more subscribers, I will take it away. I will you will see a surprise that will happen if this channel reaches over a hundred more subscribers you will see me weep and cry and scream and shout because a big huge bucket of ice cold water will be dumped on my head in the dark in the cold at night and I'll be wearing a tank top and shorts because um YouTube you know if it was up to me I would just wear you know boxers but I can't do that because of YouTube well I could just wear shorts you know I could but I don't think you guys would want to see my belly that would be kind of weird but you know, if you guys want me to be shirtless and just wear shorts and no socks and shoes, leave a comment and tweet me on Twitter. But if you guys want me to wear a tank top, then I plan on wearing a tank top and just shorts and just barefoot standing in the middle of the park um, driveway. Have my sister do it. But that will be a lot of fun, won't it? <laughs> Bye, guys. And stay tuned for later's, um, uh, a, f a few hours from now, I will make another video and finish the floor. And maybe another story. Leave a comment, social media, 
accounts will be down in the description down below for my channel. Bye! Hiya!